Welcome back to the Automation Podcast. My name is Sean Tierney, and this week on the show, I meet up with Bill Mindel from Rock Automation to learn about their new branch motor control and protection solutions. Bill, thank you for coming on the Automation Podcast. I'm looking forward to learning all about the next generation of branch motor control and protection solutions from Rockwell. We saw this and we covered this on our daily automation news show. Uh, We saw the press release that came out. It says February 27th. And uh, it was pretty exciting. And I know since then, you guys have sent me a, uh, a sample kit, which I uh, showed on the morning show as well. But, um, you know, as my background is mostly PLCs, HMI, SCADA, I was, uh, I'm really glad that you agreed to come on the show and talk to us about these products. Because, um, especially what's new, because to the untrained eye, it looks like the standard Allen Bradley products. So let me turn it over to you. Uh, before you jump into the product, could you just uh, maybe send 30 seconds telling the audience who you are? Absolutely, Sean. Thank you so much for having me and inviting me on the show today. I'm glad you're excited about the demo kit. I I am certainly excited about it as well. So I'm Bill Mindel. I am our global business manager for what we call our motor control and protection devices. And I'm going to talk a lot about uh, those today and and the next gen of products that we recently released. Uh, People, I think, will be familiar with these uh, with these use cases and with these applications uh, that I'm going to talk about and how these products get utilized in uh, in factories and in production every day. Uh, while it may not be the uh, typical PLC HMI device, uh, they're critical to uh, to to moving material and um, protecting our, our customers and equipment. All right, before I get into the specific products, I do want to share the value and and the way that these products get used. Uh, so we have invested uh, a lot of a lot of time and energy and people in releasing these updated products to really deliver some key customer outcomes and value. So uh, our our branch motor control uh, portfolio, the the new products that we recently have released over the last couple of years, um, one of the key aspects here is we have designed and tested these together uh, for ease of selection, ease of uh, installation and commissioning and and ease of use. I'm going to share uh, through the next few minutes um, how we're delivering some of those uh, some of those and what we have brought to market uh, for a, a really a global audience. One of the outcomes that we really see uh, with this updated portfolio, has been an increase in and uh, in, should deliver an increase in uh, productivity for our customers. Um, you know, Alan Bradley, of course, has that brand history of quality and uh, no no change here for us. Um, but one of the uh, one of the other things that we, of course, have to consider is uh, making sure that our equipment interacts well together and uh, and we offer, uh, devices that are are compatible, and so uh, we do uh, extensive uh, design and testing to make sure uh, these devices uh, interact and are are easy to utilize uh, in in a variety of applications. I talked a little bit about the uh, the selection and installation. We have uh, a variety of online tools uh, and documentation that allow uh, customers, such as panel builders, OEM system integrators, even end users, to uh, to select uh, and identify compatible products, as well as share information around ratings uh, in those combinations. So often, these products do not get used. Uh, as a standalone, they're used uh, in combination to uh, to run and control and uh, of course stop uh, or reverse motors. We've got a variety of accessories, whether they are uh, interconnects between devices uh, in a line or across multiple devices, to really again make it make it easier for uh, people in whatever panel or, or system or application uh, that they can they can quickly install and uh, and, and don't need to uh, add 
their own wiring, for example. We all know uh, in, in today's world and market, uh, it, it can be difficult to uh, manage and, and maintain inventory. The flexibility that we offer in these products through some wide range coils, which Sean, I think you'll be interested in, in hearing a little bit about um, one of our low power consumption coils uh, and uh, wide range current adjustments on our overload relays uh, allow our our customers, whether it's a machine builder or, or an end user, to uh, to reduce their inventory and then even possibly scale their their offering. And then finally, again, we we talk about quality, but of course, uh, damage can uh, can occur. Um, we know that uh, that that labor costs and and labor talent is also is also difficult. Um, uh, a, a difficult challenge right now. So the way that we have developed these products, uh, they're really designed to ensure that uh, our customers can can quickly and uh, and reliably uh, replace when when needed. Uh, this is done through things like um, front contacts, front auxiliary contacts, or again those uh, those accessory interconnects that allow for uh, quick wiring between the uh, the various devices. So what I really want to highlight today from a product standpoint is uh, is the products that we have recently brought to market that deliver that value above that I have referenced. Before we get to that, I have a special announcement. I've just released my very first book. It's an ebook and it's entitled, Logic's Book of Knowledge. What I did is I combined all my Control Logic's articles from the last 10 years into an ebook. I updated them, I added new pictures, and I made it all available for just $9.99. So if you appreciate what I'm doing, if you want to support the show and the channel and the blog, then please check out my brand new ebook, Logic's Book of Knowledge, which you can get over at theautomationblog.com forward slash BOK1. Um, so you can see on the on the left there, we've got our 140 MT and 140 UT, and and these these deliver uh, typically in a system a, a branch circuit protection. Uh, one of the one of the advantages to our 140 MT is it actually has uh, overload protection uh, offered in it. Um, internal to the device. So you can you can actually only uh, you actually only need this uh, in conjunction with a contactor for what's called a two component starter. Uh, the 140 UT is a is a really compact um, traditional molded case circuit breaker uh, delivers really high uh, short circuit current ratings and and can actually be used uh, as that not even in a in a motor uh, application. Next up are the uh, the hundred e contactors. Uh, these uh, you can see the uh, the the current range is there nine to to two thousand six hundred and fifty amps. A really wide range there. And uh, one of the things that we released on this is a is a low um, a low coil consumption. So you actually uh, command the contactor to open and close. Through uh, an auxiliary, we offer uh, a variety of AC and DC coils, but we actually have a low consumption coil uh, that can be wired to the output of a PLC. Nice. So, uh, Sean, I'm not sure if uh, if you've ever had an experience, you know, putting some interposing relays in mm -hmm. to uh, to activate uh, a contactor, but we actually have this now where uh, it can be done directly. And then finally, our E100 electronic overload relay. So uh, this provides that uh, kind of uh, longer term thermal protection of a motor uh, historically. And, and this is a, a electronic overload relay uh, with that, that wide current uh, adjustment range, wide uh, capability ranges as well if you, uh, if you add some external current transformers. Uh, and we've got a couple different versions of that, but uh, one of the one of the things I had highlighted was uh, some of the abilities that uh, some of the direct connect abilities. So we actually offer the E100 overload relay with a uh, um, uh, from the factory direct connect capability into our 100E contactors. We also offer that into our uh, 100C contactors that have been out in the market for a while. So between our, our motor protection circuit breakers, here are some uh, our, 
or contactors or overload relays here are just some um, visually of uh, of those products that um, many of our customers I bet are, are I bet uh, very familiar with uh, today uh, we also offer some um, some mounting systems that uh, really can reduce the uh, the installation and wiring needs as well as a variety of accessories whether it's you know external disconnects um, advanced functionality uh, or or uh, wiring to uh, to simplify and uh, and and more quickly um, distribute power, for example. Those are the uh, those are the slides I wanted to cover today, Sean. Uh, I'm sure you've got a a bunch of questions you're you're looking to get answers on. So how how what can I do for you? Well, I th you know I think you make a good point because by by updating the line, you've reduced the number of catalog numbers. If I'm understanding you correctly. You've actually reduced the number of catalog numbers, so there's actually uh, you more. These products actually fit more applications than the previous line, so you can get away with having less products in your in your inventory. Do I understand that correctly? Yeah, that's actually that that's absolutely correct, Sean. So um, we we reduced uh, greatly the uh, the number of SKUs here. Um, by adding that that those wider ranges, for example, and and that uh, application flexibility, um, there there's also some advantages there that uh, allow customers with similar devices to scale their offerings if they want a, uh, you know, uh, maybe a simpler um, scenario versus a, a more advanced functionality. Uh, they can use uh, uh, they could use they could choose to use the same device, of course, or uh, they could they could select um, ones in the same family, which would um, which which could make it simpler from a you know a panel layout and design standpoint. But yeah, absolutely, the uh, the application ranges have uh, have expanded um, from the previous generations of products. You know, um, so I got another question for you, and and you know, if I go back when I got started back in '90, we always used to use the catalogs, or after that, the selection guides to choose the products we needed. And uh, once Integrated Architecture Builder came out, it was kind of like, why would I want to carry those books around or even keep those PDFs on my hard drive? I get this great software package that can help me select things so much faster. Do you guys have any utilities on these type of products, right? So do I still need to grab the catalog or PDF or do you guys have an app or a utility, a software package that I can use to help me select the right bill of materials? I mean, is this something that's in proposal works that I could use there to select what I need? We we do have some tools that allow uh, customers to to easily select. One of the one of the tools I'll, I'll highlight uh, initially is our our global SCCR tool, okay. so global short circuit current rating tool. Uh, you can see actually how the uh, these these products have been rated together for various oh, right. applications. Um, additionally. You know, you can use some of these products in conjunction with other Rockwell products. Uh, for example, the motor protection circuit breakers can be used in front of our VFDs, uh, some of our smaller VFDs as branch circuit protection. And so we've got uh, we've got updates in that tool that uh, allow a customer to see what that circuit rating, that short circuit current rating is uh, with this 140 MT and their PowerFlex 520 or PowerFlex 750 series drive. One of the uh, one of the other offerings we have is we actually do some factory assembling of uh, of these devices, so you can uh, purchase a uh, an order uh, something that we actually build and ship as as one combined unit. So it's a 140 MT and a contactor and an overload relay. Uh, you can kind of see that in the mounting system picture. You can see an image of that. That far right is actually uh, a reverser, so uh, a motor reversing uh, system. So you've got your branch circuit protection. You have two uh, contactors that allow you to uh, to reverse the the motor direction, and then one overload. That's always helpful, especially if you're going to do like 100 machines or 100 lines. It's to have it all come pre-assembled yeah. is great. Uh, we've got MCS Star, which uh, which can help uh, you select and configure some of those devices as well. That's excellent. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you about is, of course, I'm a PLC guy, right? So, um, <laughs> you know, I is are there any smart, any new smart products? Are, are all of these non-network, like non-IO link, non-Ethernet IP, uh, or are any of these new products 
come with that type of intelligence? Uh, great question, Sean. So today, uh, none of the newer products include any kind of uh, network connectivity. Uh, I will uh, share that our E300 product that has been out on the market for a while uh, as an overload, electronic overload, uh, does have a, an Ethernet communications option as well as a, uh, a non-networked uh, control option and a device net uh, control option there. Uh, so we do offer that in the overload relay today. Mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, I will share that it's certainly uh, um, on the roadmap uh, in, in the future. Uh, we we want to deliver that connected enterprise to our to our customers and uh, uh, I'll just share that we've got some some things under development that uh, nice. that actually these products will be able to allow a customer to uh, um, to move to uh, to that connected version uh, in the future. Well, that's cool. So there's some good things coming down the pike for for those techies in us. In us. Um, so I want to ask, we got uh, Automation Fair. I'm kind of excited about it because it's out here in Boston this year, which is only three hours from me. Um, are you going to be, um, and you don't have to tell me any, any secrets or anything, but are you going to be showing any any new products at Automation Fair that kind of fall into your bucket? Uh, absolutely, yeah, that is the plan. So I, I didn't get into the specific details of uh, of the uh, all the releases here that we've already done, but yeah, we have um, some additional uh, motor protection circuit breakers that are scheduled to be released and will certainly be shown at Automation Fair this year, um, both a uh, both from a, a thermal perspective, so a thermal overload perspective like we have today, um, and then also uh, in an electronic version, electronic overload version. Well, I'm looking forward to that. If anybody listening is going, please uh, be sure to not only check out Bill's products there, but I'll try to follow, hunt me down and say hi, because I plan on being at the show the whole time and uh, just checking out all the new stuff that's coming out there. So, Bill, I think I'm going to give you the last word. Is there anything else we want to cover today in this uh, in this episode of the podcast? Uh, the only thing I will end on, uh, Sean, is, uh, is these are, you know, I know a lot of... Uh, there's been a lot of challenges with supply chain uh, over the last several years. Uh, it's a it's a frequent question we get, uh, common requests for um, you know expedites or what can we do? How quickly can we get this? Sure. I want to share that the uh, the organization has done an excellent job on uh, on those those product lines that I had highlighted: the 140MT, the 100E, and the E100. We've got we've got global uh, inventory in stock. Uh, available for uh, for ordering today. Um, you know they can ship same week, uh, and that is uh, that is a, a global um, stocking and inventory that we uh, that we've been able to maintain through uh, you know our excellent uh, supply chain team. That's excellent. I know there's nothing people like you know hate more than you know they hear about a brand new product and then they go to order and it's out of stock so great job on uh, and i know you guys have done this in the past too many many times and other vendors do it too but great job on building up that inventory before launching the product so um well that's great bill i really appreciate you coming on the show and uh telling us all about this new line of branch motor control and protection components and um just uh thank you for coming on and bringing us up to speed on it Great, Sean. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to meeting you in person in Boston. Awesome. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And I want to thank Bill for taking time out of his busy schedule to come on the show and bring us up to speed on Rockwell's new branch motor control and protection solutions. Now, if you did enjoy this episode, please consider giving us a like and a sub. And if you're listening to the audio only edition, please consider giving us a five star review because that really helps us grow our audience and find new vendors to come on the show. Now, if you want to follow us or support us, you can do so over at automation.locals.com. And you'll also find all of my training courses over at theautomationschool.com. With that, I want to wish you a very safe, healthy, and happy day. And until next time, my friends, peace.